Well, I met this bloke called Neil a few years ago uh, up in Darwin and he invited me down here to check out his little uh, tourism business, uh, 1770 Agnes Water. So uh, we're down here and we thought we'd just, um, yeah, give it a bit of a rattle, see how it goes. I just wanted to have a bit of a drive and a bit rig, but um, we'll let you know how it goes, eh? G'day everyone, Tom here. Caught up with a mate, Neil. Uh, been here for a while. He's just an inspirational bloke. We've just been on the um, tour here, and um, the passion is an Audi, mate. He's just phenomenal. Mate, I love what I do. I know. Just like you love what you do, right? You can tell. You can tell, but you tell the listeners um, a bit about yeah, where you grew up and even your grandfather. You know that yeah. story? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, basically, we've got a bit of family legacy. My grandfather was coming here over 100 years ago. He thought it was great. You know, it is, it's beautiful. Uh, and here I am, uh, my, my father came here all his life, built a little marina up and uh, established tourism in the area and it uh, basically transitioned into these things. These larks are, uh, as you can see, fantastic ways to explore. Yeah, what is, what's so good about the lark? Well, they're a lot like military machines, uh, made from aluminium. And uh, they were made back in the 60s, so they're pretty old. But still growing beautifully, and uh, so basically we just go out there amphibious, we go across the water and we go and check out the nature and showcasing nature is what we do. So essentially, um, you know, it's a pretty pretty fun job, you know, to go and show people nature and um, you know, encourage people to be, you know, global citizens at some level. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this for? So yeah, I bought this one in 1994, this one in 97, so been operating for nearly 30 years next year 30 years so yeah it's great you know i'm still doing it still loving it so i had you go in covid times what did you get up to did that have a massive impact or? yeah yeah it was fantastic from a personal point of view because lockdown i just took this went camping for three months <laughs> <laughs> go fishing <laughs> that was the job hey, get up go all right what are we going to have for dinner so that was three months of that, and then after, post the lockdown stuff here in Queensland, because the border was closed, South East Queensland just moved north, and we just went up 120% in our business. Yeah, right. Flat flat. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we're that busy that I hardly stopped every single day, round and round and round and round and round, but that set us up now to be in a position where we're not stressed about, you know, business. And a nice stable footprint and platform now and doing it so long I bought a stack more larks so I've got nine of them now. Really? Yeah, How many operational? Larks <laughs> How many operational? Uh, well I've got there's four of them that you can jump in and drive. Yeah. Uh, essentially I'll have uh, three in service is my plan. Yeah. But I've got these two going around and around now. Uh, I've got the one out the back there as my backup work. Machine, you know, it's like a rescue vehicle. But... <laughs> yeah, I'll get one more insurance services plan. And what do you do for um, on your downtime? So, um, outside of larking, I go surfing. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I did hear about your brother in law, who's pretty handy at making some little. Yeah. With that. Vanilla Slice champion of the world. Check that out. Yeah. Really? That's Phil Geck, right there. <laughs> right, and it's very, very popular here. Some yeah, other it is well-renowned. Like, it is, people travel far and wide to get his vanilla slice. Yeah, right. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's like a landmark in the cafe world right here. Wow, look at the size of it. I oh, know, it's massive. Don't eat it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to, um, I was going to eat it, but I'm only going to get a fork, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, people are watching. So, um, I'll go get a fork, hook into it, and um, I'll let you know. But it looks like Gary, my mate, this, he's already down one and a half of these. He's oh, raving no. about it. Yeah, oh, so. no. Oh. Yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> Is it good? Right. <laughs> How do you eat this? You gotta, I think you got to dip as well. Enjoy. It's very Not creamy. bad. Very creamy. Not bad Award at all. Winning. Award winning. Thanks, mate. Great to see you again. Yeah, and, I'm looking forward uh, to seeing you out at the uh, at Catherine Experience. Oh, yeah. Catherine Experience on yeah. Friday night. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Yeah. And uh, we'll get you on a horse. Look that up. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, I'll just take the rock. <laughs> no worries. I could surf the horse. There we go. We could drag a surfboard with you standing. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. We can develop them. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Watch this space. Thanks anyway, mate. See you, Tom. Great.